Could have been the whiskey Might have been the gin Could have been the three or four six packs I don't know But look at the mess I'm in My head's like a football I think I'm gonna die Tell me, me, oh, me, oh, my Or wasn't that a party Someone took a grapefruit Wore it like a hat I saw someone under my kitchen table Talking to my old drunk cat They were talking about a hockey The cat was talking back Along about that everything went black Or wasn't that a party I'm sure it's just my memory Playing tricks on me But I think I saw my buddy Cutting down my neighbor's street Could have been the whiskey I'm reading a paper. Hi everyone, welcome to the first ever improv show for Willoughby South Drama. Let's get some energy in the room. So, for the left side, what is your favorite cereal? Just shout it out. Coco Pebbles! There you go! Alright, the right side, what's your favorite movie? All right, and for everybody, what's your least favorite color? Yellow! All right. I'm Jimmy's mom. I got hit by a car one time. I'm Houston, and I really like the color yellow. I'm Alicia, and my favorite band is Britney Spears. I'm Ava. I'm diabetic. <laughs> I'm Lucy. I'm not. I'm Jackson. I had a Caesar salad for dinner today. Uh, I'm Vince, and I live my life like Spider-Man. I'm Audrey, and I'm in the color guard. Yeah. So guys, it is time for our first game. So um, our first game is called Scenes from a Hat. And so uh, everyone has to play this game. Um, as you guys came in, you wrote down uh, on a piece of paper um, different prompts for this game. And I'm going to read off those prompts, and our cast is going to act them out. So, our first prompt is unusual things you would hear at a lemonade stand. <laughs> you guys sell grapes? <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get a W2? <laughs> We don't sell lemonade. <laughs> do you guys have vegan or? <laughs> yes, officer, I do have a permit. <laughs> what do you mean we don't have any lemons here? <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> are you sure those glasses are safe? <laughs> Wait, those are oranges. Are you just pawing off Capri Suns and calling them homemade? <laughs> Need a bigger yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you 
Where we're going, we don't need yellow. <laughs> You guys really love the color yellow. Nobody puts yellow in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's your <laughs> Mom's number four says, what is one thing not to say to your grandma? <laughs> <laughs> your time soon. <laughs> Is our uh, news anchor who has to end? Yes, who has to end every sentence with perchance. <laughs> and uh, Lucy is our sports news anchor who um, can only speak very loudly. <laughs> Take it away. You're not done. Oh. <laughs> well, we need a, a prompt. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, what's our, uh, you know. So yeah, what I need from you guys, our audience, is um, some news story that you would not want to see in the news, uh, would not want to hear like the news. So something boring, something uninteresting. Do we have any ideas? Fake news. Okay. Michael Jackson's alive. I think that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. So like something like that has happened in the world. Something that's like changed. They're adding a tax to spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, wait, what was the, the one about text messages? Or what was it I hear over here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any other ideas though? Eliminating TikTok. Oh. Well, that is, I mean, that's not a very, like, uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any, like, We're so I Yeah, well, okay, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, something boring, something random that's happening. Me buying I'm... another gecko. <laughs> I have 13. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> a, a random person in the community has bought another gecko. <laughs> Take it away. Hello everybody, my name is John Johnson, and welcome back to Channel 96.1 News. Today's top story, a local citizen who already owns 13 geckos has bought another one. This is quite an unexpected turn of events. Who could predict that this person who already has 13 geckos would need another one? What, what do you make of this? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's quite interesting as um, I feel like that is kind of wrong. As, you know, I'm a frog and it's a close brethren to me. Um, I feel like that's morally incorrect. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I do agree. I, I, I do think, you know, there, there should be a limit to how many geckos someone should have, you know, if, if, if 
It's already not very easy being green, but having 12 other roommates is also pretty bad. Yeah, I, I would agree. I was not the only child. You weren't? No. I, I thought you were the only child. Well, no. Uh, <laughs> no. The, the, the Jim Henson company that I was born from, you know, makes, makes a lot of, makes a lot of bills. You were born bills. from a company? Yes. <coughs> what? Yes. yes. Can, can, can you explain that a little bit? So, um, somebody, um, maybe, with an old, with an old coat, which was actually the, my father's mother, who made the coat into a puppet. Hmm? Are you, are you following? I, I think I'm following. Hmm? Okay. That's quite interesting. Okay, okay, that, that, yeah, yeah, not really relevant to our current news story, but <laughs> should you be on the air? Um, <laughs> how are you? Is there, is there <laughs> someone under there? Um, I would prefer if you didn't look under there. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we, look, we're going to get this sorted out. Let's, let's head to the weather. Hello, I'm your weather person per chance today. A 95 per chance of rain, per chance. <laughs> now, if you look over here, per chance, you can see some clouds rolling in, per chance. And uh, I think over here, there's a um, sunny area, sunny skies all afternoon on Thursday. Perfect weather for going and buying more geckos, per chance. <laughs> And finally, per chance, on Friday, we're looking at a tornado, per chance. Not good weather for buying geckos, per chance. Uh, back to you, per chance. Okay, <laughs> per chance. <laughs> uh, you know, that tornado is news to me. Which, I mean, it is the news, so you're, you're getting all the most up-to-date information. I'm a little scared. Why? The tornado! But at the end, it all connects us with the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it will, I mean, I, I, I guess that's true. It could, you know, spin around, bring me up into the air, connect me with the rainbow, and then I would fall quite a large distance and be connected with the ground. <laughs> no, I, um, I feel like you're being very negative right now. Um, you know, it's a tornado. <laughs> yeah, there's not much positive to that. Well, I, I, I think that you're looking on the wrong side of things. I, I'll, I'll be looking at all of the sides of the tornado when I'm spinning around it. Well, that's, that's why you should just watch out. Just don't, just don't do that. <laughs> just don't get sucked up by the tornado? Yeah, go somewhere else. You have a, you have a relative, I believe. I, I, I do. Good. I don't have a car. Oh. That's definitely the most unfortunate. Yeah. No, um, I could hook you up with Fozzie. He, he, he drove back in 1979. Does, does he still have a license? I would like to think so. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're we're gonna take care of this per personally. Uh, let's let's head over to the sports. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now, as you can see, the uh, frog basketball championships were just uh here this Saturday. As you see, um, LeBron Jump is coming in <laughs> with the top amount of baskets, and over there we have Michael Froggin. He's Froggin. Uh. As you can see, a quick replay. Oh my god, they're jumping! Back to you! Uh, okay, that's not how I remember those basketball players. See, I told you the Jim Henson Company made a lot of frogs. I do have a family. The Jim Henson Company is really in the gym. <laughs> okay. The, a lot of frogs. So you, so, so those are like your siblings. Um, in, in a way, yes. Your siblings are uh, all professional basketball players? What can I say? The frog got a dunk. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, that's that's interesting. Uh, I think I think that's all we all the news we have for you for right now. So uh, you know that's that's all. See you next tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like that? Are are, are you well? I just you, you know. Oh, I learned a lot today. Oh, that's <laughs> about you. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of splendid. All right, goodbye, everybody. All right, yes, yes, goodbye, everyone.
Jackson will be playing the role of an employee who's late for work. His coworkers will be acting out his excuse behind the boss's back. Jackson doesn't know what his excuse is, but he'll have to guess what it is. Um, bye, Jackson. He's going to leave you right now. All right. So what I need from all of you is just like a disaster scenario. Like, oh, a bunch of kittens attack my house. Don't be afraid to shout it out. Shark tornado. What about finally started chucking wood? The beach ball factory. That's a lot, guys. Gecko rain in the house. Gecko related? Gecko rain. Gecko rain. Okay, I like that one. Um, next, I'm going to need like how Jackson got to work, like on a magic carpet. The tornado. On a cow. A unicycle. Cow riding a unicycle. <laughs> All right, so Jackson's excuse is going to be um, Gecko Rain um, was happening, and he had to ride a cow riding a unicycle to work. Oh, dear. Yeah. All right, so when, so when you hear any of those words, you're going to clap. Like right now, clap for me. Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> We're bringing him out now. Hey, get back to work. You work in a butter factory. Oh, oh, oh. Here. Uh, Jackson, late. One more time. I assure you that there's a perfect and reasonable excuse as to why I'm late. No, there's not. No, there really is. So, I mean, I was waking up in the morning. Oh, my. Morning routine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they were, um, I had to crawl on the ground. Oh, yeah. So, um, they were, I just like, uh, I, in my room, I just love to crawl on my ground. I don't, that's not normal. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I don't think were, you should be doing there that. There were things actually also crawling on the wall. Um, <laughs> what kind of things? <laughs> no, I mean, like, they were like, um, um, I mean, it was bugs probably, but I didn't really look into it. But oh. I mean, they were like, um, I, you know, just in my room, I was getting ready for the day, um, and sort of like a sparkle of light. Oh! <laughs> 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 Interesting. Yeah, no, um, I mean, I'm just kidding about that. So oh. I, I love, I love, oh, you know. Um, You're bad at it. <laughs> yeah, so I was um, getting ready in the morning. How big were these things on your wall? Like, oh, they were like. Mm, Small. Okay. <laughs> they were very small. So there were um many like little spiders. Oh. Um, kind of like spider. I uh, yeah. But so um <laughs> they were these sort of animals. Animals. Uh, so, so, okay. Yes. What kind of animals. Um, well, they were on all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> were they? Were they like little dogs? Were they lizards? Were they? I mean, they were. Yeah, they, I would say that they're lizards. Okay. Yeah, so there were like, lizards. On my wall, there were very tiny lizards on my wall. What <laughs> kind of lizards were these? Well, I'm They're making you think a little crazy. Yeah, no, I mean, there's a lot. Oh, but it's okay. I mean, um, but yeah, let me just, let me take it from the top, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of sorry. Let me get the good one this way. Here, so. Uh, I woke up in the morning, uh -huh. and there were these things, um, there were these things, that were on the wall. The lizards. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, they were crawling, for sure, on the uh, ceiling. Oh. Yeah, so um, I actually uh, had to climb up there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. but, um, so they were, like, falling down. Mm -hmm. So there were spiders from the, uh, falling from the ceiling. I thought they were lizards. Well, those two. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I kind of had to like <laughs> bring them out. You know, it, it, I kind of was too late, but like, um, they were other things to have to deal with. Um, so it was like the lizards were like falling on you. Yeah, in a way, in a sense. They were falling on top of you. Yeah, no, a lot of strange things happened to me. In I noticed. <laughs> yeah, so it was raining. Oh. It was, um, yeah, it was just really wet. I had, like, um, I had to turn myself off. Like, so how did you get to off. work? Well, yeah, so, um, I, it was raining. And, um, uh, I heard that. My room, basically. It was very strange, but then I had to go, um, to work. Um, uh, I figured out how to get out of that situation. And so, should have um, figured that out a little faster. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, um, I just decided that, like, I need to take the fastest route.
this little device here will start beeping like crazy. I'll allow my partner to demonstrate. Okay. It has actually magnets on it, so if you stick it to the soft, beep, 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 beep. Whoa! Just like magic. <laughs> and now, you might be wondering, well, why would I buy all of this? I mean, what do I get out of it? Well, for only a low, low price of $326, you'll get all of this and <laughs> this sock invisible um, binder. <laughs> so, you're probably wondering, how does it find invisible socks? Well, I've got the solution for you. Allow my partner to come over here. Thank you. You're now, welcome. Their socks are invisible. We gotta find them. So, using our special product, where are the socks? I found my socks! There they are. <laughs> Finally! <gasps> Problem solved! And, and you'll never have to lose them again if you have our secret product included in the invisible finder. Excuse me, partner. Can I put your, put your foot down? Okay. There. You'll never lose them again. Yup. Now, because you can't walk, you'll never have to take your socks off. Yeah!
my basement. What? <laughs>
Your <laughs> banana slip? Yes. Uh, Unfortunately. There's no banana. I'm sorry. Fortunately, for the ball break, we're in a horror movie, not a comedy movie. No one's flipping oh, bananas man. here. Oh, man. Oh, no. Is it real? Yeah. That was my weapon besides yeah. words. Yeah. It's screw this. Yeah, I don't have word. any of them. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's really unfortunate. I'm really sad for both of you guys that you don't get what you want. But you know what I want? You know what I want? That other guy's still in the other room. To pull out a different prompt than the one I pulled out before. <laughs> you know what I want? <laughs> you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> it's inconceivable! A banana peel is not the peel that you take off of a lemon. Excuse me. Kilo, <laughs> run! Wait, yeah, I'm wait, gonna, no, I'm gonna go. no, no! Get back here! Ah! I... <laughs> that was, that was not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my knife, oh, my knife is, oh, my knife is in your chest. Oh, oh, that, I... Do you think the police would believe that this was an accident? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Get back here! <laughs> That, that was that was certainly scary, definitely. No no one could even think of laughing during that. It was how horrifying it was. Uh, but you know, our next game is a little bit more lighthearted. Our next game is one called Press Conference, and for it I will need Lucia, uh, Jackson, Jimmy's mom, and Audrey. So if you would kindly come onto the stage. All right. So, in this game, Jimmy's mom, Jackson, and Audrey are all uh, interviewers who are interviewing Lucia here. Now, the catch is that Lucia is a random, you know, pop culture character or person. But Lucia doesn't know what character that is. And so, the interviewers have to prompt Lucia with questions in order to let Lucia guess which character they are. So, uh, get out. <laughs> Just gotta wait. Fully gone. Close the door. Put faster. We don't have all day here. Okay. All right. So, what I need from the audience is a character. It can be anything. It can be fictional. Right, Scooby Doo. Goku. So good, man. Mario. Scooby Doo first. Jabber Jaws. Scooby Doo. <laughs> All right, the dog Scooby-Doo. And just, you know, additionally, we need some reason for Scooby-Doo to be holding the press conference. So, you know, what 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 could he have done? Just he was the president. He was the president. Out of Scooby Snacks. I heard he's out of Scooby Snacks. Okay, I, I, I like that. You guys, you guys good with that? You, you think you can do it? You think you can manage this? Of course. Of course, all right. I'll go get Lucio. I'm not Lucia. <laughs> Bye, not Lucia. Ooh, yeah, press conference. Thank you all for coming to my press conference. I know recent times have been confusing for everyone, so I will be taking questions now. You there. Clark Kent from the Daily Planet. Um, how, is it, how, how does it feel to not have the big thing that you love? Are you going through withdrawals? The withdrawal symptoms are rough, man. My therapist keeps telling me, man, you gotta go for walks and hear me. I can't do it, man. It's hard. Uh, that sounds awfully rough. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you there, John Jameson here from the Daily Bugle. Hello, John. <laughs> so, um, how has the rest of your team felt about running out of your most beloved snack? My team, they're handling it actually a lot better than I am. Uh, I hate them all. <laughs> it's a, I, I, I'm going to sound like a crazy person here for a second. They're the reason I ran out my favorite snack. It was their choice to not buy more. I know they're still in store. I know they still make them. I will get revenge. <laughs> Any more questions? You there. Who are you so 
typically blaming your best friend for this? Yes. Next question. <laughs> yes, you there. How is he handling? How is he handling these claims? I uh, haven't spoken to him since. Actually, I cut all contact with him because he tried to uh, accuse me of being an addict, and you know, I can do no wrong. I'm actually never at fault ever, so you know, it was kind of he had a fight. Ooh. You there? Did you, uh, perchance, say to a famous catchphrase, Rutlow, when you... <laughs> <laughs> Look, as a dog, and also as a dog that solves mysteries, a dog that's also named Scooby-Doo, um, <laughs> I keep right out of Scooby Snap. sports announcers, and Audrey and Ava are the athletes. The announcers are going to give us some commentary on a sport, and the athletes, what I need, and wow, I am struggling to read this, <coughs> to give us some commentary on the sport, and athletes, what I need from you is a basic, everyday task, like dusting, vacuuming, baking cookies, etc. Not, not taxes. Breaking leaves. Texting and driving. Okay. Um, Washing I don't think that's very legal to text and drive. You shouldn't do it. It's bad. So we're not going to accept that one. Building laundry. Building a Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to have a folding laundry competition. And uh, I, I, I know the, the Sundays of laundry could not get any more fun. But here today, we are going to see this. Let's, uh, let's get started. Take it away. Hello everyone, I am Bob Baffert reporting live from East Lake, Ohio in the suburbs for the 104th Laundry Folding Championship. I am here joined by former father, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful day for this competition and I feel like our two contestants here are going to have an amazing time competing for the top spots. On the right, on the right we have Billy Bob and on the right, on the left we have John Joe. <laughs> now these two have been increasingly getting more traction in this industry and have been um, kind of hiding their skills for this particular moment. And we are underway! Woo! Okay, reminder, it is neatness and total laundry folded after the 10 minutes in this competition. Exactly. And so we see here that they both have a, a fantastic start. Okay, and um, Jimmy, John. Over Bob's there. giving me some mess inside side eye right now. Oh yes, <laughs> Jimmy, John over here. They're taking, they're taking their time. They're unfolding and getting ready all of their laundry at a steady pace. This is a key and crucial. They're neck and neck through the first sector. I, I don't mm -hmm. believe it. This is a very clean competition so far. Yeah, and it almost uh -oh. Uh -oh. nothing uh -oh. can go wrong. Oh, down goes the laundry basket! <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe that is a restart for Joe. And now they have to they have to continue from the beginning and redo all of their laundry. This will definitely take a uh, point The students are saying no penalty for Bob, so I think he got away with one there. Did. <laughs> oh my god. And it almost makes you wonder, I hope that nothing goes wrong. Do you see that? I, I see an electrical spark going on a laundry machine! It's, it's, Race for it, man! Oh my god, look at the fire! It's got the empties! Oh my god! Oh, Won't be that! Now they're, they're spraying the fire hydrant over a bit. Uh, they're spraying that. They need to get that taken care of. I guess Karma is a cat in fact. Oh boy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, did we have an injury? Call the EMF. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, and this, may, this will take you off the time. Surely they need to get back into the game and get back to the top. So halfway through, and we are still at ground zero with both competitors. Mm -hmm. It seems that some uh, one of the team uh, teammates might have to resort to some sort of violence to. I think Joe's getting the revenge. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. oh, oh. Drop kick it. from Joe. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. They cannot see with the laundry basket over their head. They don't know where they are going. Ten point ten penalty for Bob, but it doesn't matter if yes. Joe counteracts it again. Oh, my goodness. I think we're watching the MMA of mom laundry. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Next mom attacking. Mm -hmm. And so we see they're getting back at it again. They are getting 
into their grooves. Three minutes ago, they are neck and neck with zero shirts folded. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that they have really um, not taken a liking to their folding because nothing looks good. The rivalry is better. <laughs> yeah. So it seems that, yeah, they are both very heavily competing. They I, I think Bob has the edge right now. Exactly. And now, as we see, they're both folding at quicker paces. Uh -oh. They're approaching the one That's, that's not a neat pile. It's going down. It's down goes Bob's pile! Nothing can stop Joe from here! Unless oh it's sabotage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is very a crucial part of this competition. Uh, okay, I think that is the end of our competition. Oh my goodness. Bob is zero shirt folded, and jo Joe with five, but I, I don't think those are good folds. I think we have a tie of absolute losers. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, okay, okay. Cut the camera! On. Cut the camera! On. And thank you so much. <laughs> Make a date, and for it I will need. They know. They know. <laughs> yes. I, I'll, I'll, I'll say their names though. So we got Jimmy's mom, Lucy, Jackson, and Vince. You knew that. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> Hopefully it's not my last. It's my first. This is your first. Or first? I'm a hopeless first. romantic first. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tell them that. All right. Let's make a date. This is a fake dating show, where Vince here is a single, depressed, <laughs> lonely, unlovable bachelor, and he's on a dating show trying to date one of these three <coughs> incredible, you know, dating options. But, you know, in, in similar form to press conference, each one of these three, you know, potential partners is a fictional character or, you know, a person, or has some, like, weird trait. And Vince, through, you know, asking dating-related questions, has to guess what their character or trait is. Now, we can't have him knowing what that is, so he needs to leave. <laughs> and he needs to close the door on his way out. All right. So let's let's get some suggestions from the audience. Brady from TV to Michelangelo. Oh, Wait, Michael Elton John. The oh, Red Sox character or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Let me tell you, I'd love to be a Ninja Turtle. It was my dream, was my dream as a kid. Uh, okay, you want to be a Ninja Turtle? Yeah. Okay, then Jimmy's mom is Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle. Not the Renaissance painter. <laughs> now, any <laughs> shout out answers? I will not be calling on anyone. Elton John, Taylor Swift, Spongebob. I don't, I don't know. Gerard <laughs> Way. Vince, 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 it keeps getting taller. Keeps getting taller? <laughs> no arms. If, if you think no, no, no arms. No, okay, I, you seem really committed to no arms. <laughs> I do, from someone else. Me too. Uh, okay, so then we have all three of our you know, people. We have Jackson as Jennifer Coolidge, Lucy as a person with no arms, and Jimmy's mom as Michelangelo, the ninja turtle, not the renaissance painter. All right, I'll go get Vince. Unfortunately. Thank you for here. Okay. 
Person number one. I believe you should take me out to dinner first. So where would we go on our first date? Oh, I would love to go. <laughs> <laughs>
choose one of them. You're, you're going to disappoint all three? <laughs> and if he said which one is the can least I like bad, option like three? Can I take option three like to the wide to play basketball but not in the date? Sure, dude. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but your choice, I guess. <laughs> I think Coolidge would drive me crazy, and I think the person with that arm is the next. Let me show you one more cool thing. Or it's a strange character. Can someone please give me like a specific category of characters, like Disney characters, superheroes, something like that? Marvel characters. Marvel characters. Crazy Crazy network characters. Has a weird nose. Has a wait. Characters that have a weird nose. Yes. Marvel How many characters have weird noses? More than a few. It was off from One Piece. A broad category. Circus performers. Circus performers. What was that? Circus performers. I think circus performers could be pretty fun. So I'm gonna ask you. I don't know circus performers. You know, it's your party. You know everyone here. You're gonna humiliate me. Okay. Um, a certain right here. You got this. What circus performer are you? I'm the juggler. I do like the ring now. Actually, I'm going to be the lion tamer. I'm a clown. I'm the juggler. Is anyone going to be like a seal? Or... No. I'll be a seal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a gentleman. Yeah. I got to know, are you going to be a ball or do you like a Sure. Okay. Um, I don't want to. I feel like it would be a fire breather. Okay. So fire breather. Lion tamer. Ringmaster. Clown. Juggler. Or, or, or. Elephant. <laughs> I'm going to go get the party notes. You know, some people are sad about these kinds of things, but I prefer to see them as a celebration of life. Rest in peace, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that must be the entertainment! Hello, hello. Uh, oh, I, okay. I'm looking for a, an, animal. Uh, an animal. I lost it, actually. A uh, balloon animal? No. Okay. Um, a real one. A real one? <laughs> yes. Uh, I think it might have killed your grandma. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we really should not be having it. Uh, yeah, it looks really uh, kind of mangled. Uh, I'm sorry. You uh, have an upstairs basement, any birds, any I, small children? I, I do <laughs> have ten kids. And three oh, kids. Oh, have you, hey, have you um, seen them recently? Oh, 
Oh, okay. the flame is breathing fire. Okay. Serial killing is a very demanding profession. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because 